Hey guys, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm excited because I'm going to share with you my favorite drugstore priced items. Only one of them is you'd have to order it online. Everything else you can go to the drugstore and pick it up. When I was thinking drugstore prices, I asked myself where am I going to draw the line? Where am I going to say this is still drugstore? And unfortunately, just like everything else, makeup has gotten more expensive. Um, so I wanted to say $10, but then that would only two of these things are over $10. Everything else is $10 or less. So I said 15. If it was $15 or less, then I would include it. Let's just let's just get started and the first thing is going to be my primer and i'm going to shout out the elf power grip primer um it's the one that's a dupe for the milk um i've used the milk i kind of prefer the elf maybe it's just because of the price point but um i use this pretty much every single day whenever i use this whatever foundation i use this with the foundation lasts all day um, it's moisturizing like at the same time as it's a little bit tacky really grips on to your foundation holds it on it's a beautiful primer it's ten dollars and I just love it I use it pretty much every single day I'm going to prime my eyelids and then talk about brows so for brows I want to talk about the elf instant lift brow pencil and this is in the shade blonde three dollars three dollars it's not the most like precision tip um but like to be fair my brows are so light that a lot of what i'm doing is coloring them in <laughs> and i just love this pencil and it's just it's got the spoolie on one end I mean, it's an excellent brow pencil. They stay. The color stays all day. They don't get wonky. I just love it. It's a great brow pencil. Eyeshadow. I have to talk about my favorite eyeshadows. And that's the ColourPop shadows. I know that they release something every five minutes. But, like, their shadows just perform so well. They're easy to blend. There's a color story for whatever your heart desires that day. <laughs> um, so today I felt like peach. But these nine pan palettes are $14. There, I have high end palettes that don't perform as well as these shadows do. I love working with them. They're one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. And they're just, they're beautiful. So today I'm going to be doing a look with the peach out palette. And these are the palettes that are at Target, ColourPop for Target, and I have loads of the ones that are just like the regular palettes. Um, one of my favorite is the All Amethyst, that's their purple palette, but I felt like, I don't know, I was just, I've got some errands to run today, and I felt like, let's go with a neutral, um, nudie kind of look. I'm going to do my eyeshadow, and I'll be right back. So I've got some eyeshadow on now. Um, but I mean, look, look how pretty that eyeshadow is. Um, 10 out of 10. Foundation. I don't love a lot of drugstore foundations, and I don't know if it's because they're not that good. <laughs> um, or because I have very oily, textured skin. So I feel like I have a lot to combat with a foundation and there have been very few foundations that I put on and go yes this looks great on me Misha perfect cover BB cream I use the shade number 21 it comes in a little pump and it just has the prettiest uh, like dewy finish but somehow that works with my oily skin this is just the foundation I haven't put any concealer powder any of that on and it's got the most natural dewy finish it covers up my redness 
it glides over my texture it's just a beautiful beautiful foundation but I feel like it's got the cut like a good medium coverage which is my favorite level of coverage um, just personal preference only drawback to it is a it's not like something you can go buy at Target or Walmart it's but I get it on Amazon. Let me put on my concealer, my powder, some blush, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have concealered, concealed, <laughs> powdered, I've blushed, I've gone under the eye with eyeshadow, so I guess I eyeshadowed again. Next thing I'm going to talk about are these ColourPop um, cream, BFF cream gel liners. I have loads of them. Like, I have a whole, I have this, let me see if I can pick it up. I have this organizer on my desk of stuff I use, like, all the time. And this is eyeliner pencils. <laughs> I have more that I've bought that I haven't organized over here yet. And 90% of these eyeliner pencils are the ColourPop gel liners because they're just my absolute favorite. And one of the quickest ways, I think, to kind of smoke up a look, vamp up a look, is to do a gel liner um, in the waterline. So I'm since I'm going with lashes today, I'm just going to go with a black, which I think they're black. It's called Swerve. I have like three black of the like three of these in the swerve shade so and I'm just gonna put that right in my lower waterline and they're super comfortable stays all day like in fact when I go to wash them off at night sometimes they stick around even after you've you've double cleansed um I still sometimes <laughs> which I'm not mad about because <laughs> I would rather it stay than get runny or something because like when I get sleepy my eyes start to water I wear contacts sometimes my eyes water this guy just, it stays so I don't have a drugstore mascara so let me put my mascara on and then I will be right back for lashes I have mascaraed I'm going to talk about the lashes I'm about to put on and then I'll show you them on. These are the Ardell 120s. Love them so, so much. I haven't been doing lashes for that long. Like I have long lashes naturally. I was like, I don't need to wear falsies. And then I bought the Ardell 120s and I decided to give them a shot. I tried some other lashes in the past. I struggled putting them on it was such a pain so I tried the Ardell 120s it was like life-changing they're so the band is it just like I don't know it's like it perfectly fits my lash line <laughs> it's thin it's a clear band and they just I, I'm not gonna say they look natural because they don't look natural but <laughs> They look beautiful. I love them so, so much. And I always get compliments when I wear them. Let me put these on real quick and come back and we'll talk about lips. Lashes are on. Beautiful. Love these lashes so, so much. I They're so lightweight that I forget that I'm wearing them. And that was one of my complaints with some lashes is that they feel heavy. They're just my favorite lashes. I'm going to talk about the Alme um, Lip Vibes Lipstick, and this is in the shade Go Wild. It's the one with the cute little leopard and tiger on the... <laughs> They're so cute, and um, this is just the perfect nude lip. I just love it. I ever have a song that's like, maybe this is an ADHD thing where like I hyper fixate on things but sometimes I'll just play a song like over and over throughout the day <laughs> and it's like my soundtrack for the day and today it's Glass Animals The Other Side of Paradise I cannot get enough of that song today it's just the perfect nude lip it's so comfortable this is a very like creamy silky formula 
it feels nice on the lips. It dries down a little bit and it kind of sticks around. So I love to pair this with a lip gloss. I'm going to use the Lunar Beauty today. Love, 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 love. It's a staple and it sits by, sits here on my desk and I use it with almost every look because I just like a nude lip. That's it. That's my look using my drugstore favorites under $15. Love these products. 10 out of 10 on every single one of them. Would highly recommend. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. What are your favorite drugstore items? What are your drugstore gems? They can be $15 or more than $15. I would love to try them. And if you want, you could hit that subscribe button. That would be pretty amazing. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you later. Bye.